As an institution, we owe it to our graduates to give them not just the tools to be amazing performers or producers or sound designers. We also need to give them the corresponding tools to develop successful careers in a way that they define it. The Institute for Creative Entrepreneurship, which we call ICE, is an effort to encourage our students to both start enterprises, but also go beyond that and see themselves as artists, musicians, as an entrepreneur. It's trying to impart that entrepreneurship is not just management techniques, it's not business plans, it is a mindset. When I look at the instincts that make a successful musician, they tend to be good listening skills, good collaboration skills. Well, these are the same instincts that make successful entrepreneurs. The first course that I wanted to introduce is called the Startup Lab, because we fundamentally believe that innovation comes through collaboration. I reached out to Ken Zola at MIT. The Startup Lab, it's less about having one brilliant idea. Rather, it's about what it means for you to be the founder of a company and try to bring your vision to fruition. This is a prototype of the power mode. It's going to bring as many controls of a software synthesizer to your fingers as possible. It's going to strap onto your arm like this, and based on what buttons you press together at one time, you can get any pitch. I arrived into Berkeley. It was really sad to see that I was the only Bolivian. So I decided to do something and make a difference. Bolivian Sons of the World has the main goal of creating scholarships for Bolivian people to go to the best artistic schools around the world. This is telling you what your friends are listening to, who they're listening to, and what they think is cool. My current project is an app called Beatlist, and what we're trying to do is just reinvent internet radio. Every time your friend plays a song, it broadcasts the song, and then who they're listening to. The way that we like to go about teaching entrepreneurship here is similar to the way that people are learning a musical instrument. Practical application, and the second part is observation of other people doing it. We've selected four startups from the greater Boston area. These are companies that are all within the music space, but they're facing unique challenges. We work with the founders directly to do market research, to do product development, depending on what the goals of each business are. And it's one of the only opportunities at Berkeley that really allows you to do that. I'm working with Sonation. We are coming up with ideas for their first singer application. Once a week, I meet with our team at Berkeley to think about what kind of things we should do next in the project. What population are we going to be targeting next? What's the best way to approach this? They are our teammates. There's really no difference between the executive team and the Berkeley students. So I think that gives them a very unique perspective of what it means to start a company and how stuff really gets done. Hey guys, big round of applause. Music can be a catalyst for new disruptive ideas to emerge, whether those ideas are applied onto the creative or music space or whether those ideas are exported into other fields. No matter what major you're from or what path of life that you're going towards, a good base of entrepreneurial knowledge can help you turn your ideas into reality. We're talking to the most incredible, influential, smartest people that we've ever seen. We're getting all the most crucial information about the industry. We're getting the most unbelievable opportunities. It makes me want to work my butt off. Part of what makes Berkeley so special is that we have four and a half thousand amazingly creative people that have come from all parts of the world and within them they carry this unique voice that we want to help them express and hone and refine so they can go out there and develop their career in whichever way they choose and hopefully make a difference in the world. And that's what we aim to do with Berkeley ICE. <laughs>